morning. Oh, yes. Good morning. Beautiful day. It's getting late in the month of March, and it's a cold morning, and oh, traffic. Yeah, traffic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. So once again, I've been stumbling upon young earth creationists who insist that I believe things that I've never believed, and that I think things I've never thought, and that I accept ideas that I've never accepted. And most importantly, they insist that I've never heard of Jesus. So I'm going to explain this one more time. As an atheist, I am also an ex-Christian. That means that I used to be a Christian. I was a Christian for a very long time. And in fact, I was very preachy, annoyingly preachy. And I arrived at atheism not by telling my parents, I just want to be bad, but by learning the history of Christianity as an adult. That's how I arrived at atheism, by learning the history of Christianity and of other religions as an adult. <sighs> yeah. And no, atheism doesn't mean that you get to get away with doing bad things. It's never meant that. Indeed, quite the opposite. Atheism means that you no longer have a magical, invisible God who can forgive you for being a bad person. It means, hey, I am responsible. I am personally accountable for my own actions, for how I behave. I cannot ask a God to forgive me for all the terrible things that I do, so I need to not do terrible things. And that is atheist reasoning. Because when you have a God, you have an automatic get-out-of-jail-free card. You have an automatic, I'm not perfect, I'm just forgiven routine that allows you to get away with the most horrible behavior. And this is especially true in the American Bible Belt, where you can literally commit the most heinous of atrocities, and then when you're being arrested, simply, let's have a prayer circle and pray to Jesus, and they will treat you like gold. And if you keep doing this through the court system, they will free you. They will let you go. They will say, oh, this one's a Christian. We can let him go. He didn't mean it. And besides, God forgave him. So we can forgive him too. Because it's the American Bible Belt. In the rest of the Christian-dominated world, the Anglosphere, it's uh, not quite that extreme, but still, professing Christianity gets you a lot better treatment through the legal system than professing atheism would. And let's face it, the legal system is fucked. But here's the fun part. It's not just about the legal system, it's about morality. Because if you wave Jesus at people, they will agree to let you slide by on the most horrible behavior. anywhere in the Anglosphere, if you say, but I'm born again, people will tell you that it's okay. They will pat you on the head. They will tell you that they know you're not really a bad person, no matter how horrible your behavior, that you're really a good person because you are born again. Yeah. Something to think about. As an atheist, I don't get that. I don't get that benefit. 
So as an atheist, I actually have to live my life in a decent ethical manner. I actually have to be a decent person. I have to actually be a moral person. And to do that, I have to actually understand what morality is. And I don't mean morality in the concept of divine command where you blindly obey the biggest bully you can find. That is not morality. I mean, yes, religion claims that this is morality, but it's not. Morality consists of doing what is right regardless of what you are told. Religion is doing what you are told regardless of what is right. Because the authorities will tell you what is right, they will decide what is right, and you just have to obey them, unthinkingly and unquestioningly. Oh, and as atheists, we don't have leaders. We don't have authority figures. We have endless arguments over principles. We do not have leaders. We do not have a grand atheist over all the atheists. We leave that to the religious people, because it's a religious thing. We do not have a final authority. Instead, we have endless rounds of arguments over nuance, over subtleties of detail. And ultimately, we have the duty to figure out what is the right thing, and then to do that which is the right thing. That's how atheist morality works. We actually think about it and figure out what causes the least amount of harm and what confers the greatest amount of benefit. And then that's what we do. That's atheist morality. The least amount of harm and the greatest amount of benefit to our fellow human beings morality, atheist style. Something to think about. Mm. Anywho, take care, be well, stay safe. Ta-ta.